it is December 1st. Good morning. Um, or good afternoon, evening, whenever I post this. Um, <laughs> I feel uh, like I'm having like this giant kind of ADHD get things done phase. So um, I've been in kind of a rut lately, creatively, big time. And just feeling like I can't do anything, a lot of executive dysfunction, so much. Um, it doesn't help when uh, there are days and days, like weeks in a row where everybody's home and I don't have even like a moment to myself um, unless I'm taking a nap. Even if my husband is just like working from home and he's like keeping to himself and stuff like that, I, I just can't focus. It's something about having total, like, aloneness <laughs> is what helps me focus. And uh, having three days a week where I do that is really great. Uh, having three weeks in a row where I can't do that really affects me. Uh, I got back from my trip to California and my husband was sick right as I was getting back and so he was working from home and then Thanksgiving and then um, the weather here has been a little bit weird since then so he's been working from home as well because his commute is an hour and a half. So the lack of alone time has been strong uh, but yesterday uh, something happened. I don't know what and I suddenly felt the drive to clean so much. Uh, I live in a depression house 85% of the time, maybe more, maybe 95% of the time. If you don't know what a depression house is, um, I think you could probably Google depression room and <laughs> it might tell you. Okay, anyways, if you Google depression room, uh, you could probably find some information if you don't already know what it is. Um, or if it's unrelatable to you, you will probably completely not understand it. And that is not for me to explain, I don't think. The only thing I can explain is I have a depression house because as an adult with depression and a whole household to take care of, I have a depression house. Uh, so, uh, since moving, it's been really difficult to manage the organization of things and keep things tidy around that. Um, so yesterday we finally kind of got a lot of that taken care of. Uh, it helped that over the weekend we started getting um, the excess boxes that we kind of said, okay, we're not unpacking this now. It's super low priority. So over the weekend we got those put into the garage from the living room. And then yesterday, which was Wednesday, I don't know. I just got the bug that I needed to, to do stuff. Um, and that happens. Uh, those of you who suffer from mental illnesses uh, or who relate in some other way probably understand that your home or your space is very cluttered and very messy so much. So much. I'm, I mean, people, when you go over to their house, they're like, don't mind me, my house is a mess. And you're like, literally not a mess. Um, no, my house was a mess. Uh, but uh, about six plus hours of just cannot stop <laughs> energy, uh, I cleaned my house for the most part. This room, not clean yet. I focused on the front living room. This is like a bonus room, but it's as big as, it's as, big as the living room. Um, so it's our office plus a couch and a chair. It's basically a second living room. Uh, but the front living room is nice. There's a couple boxes that need to be moved still, but they're small. Uh, this morning already, I still have that energy. So we'll see how long it lasts. Usually when this happens, I use it until I, can't, until I can't anymore. Um, and I don't usually crash. Usually the crash is what has happened before the cleaning. <laughs> and then the cleaning happens and then you get kind of a nice 
steady pace of kind of good stuff for a little while. Anyway, I'm drinking some tea pigs. Uh, it's got beets in it. I don't, I don't um, know what the flavor is. Maybe I'll show you in a minute. It's cold now though. And um, I need to take my daughter to school. So I'm going to take her to school. And then I'm going to come back and we are going to do ink advent. Ink vent. Um, I think I'm going to record me like opening it and the first test out of it um, in like a vertical video for a YouTube short and a Instagram reel. So uh, I will still show you footage in this video, but it won't be like the of like the first time I open it because that will be in a vertical format, and I don't think I want to insert that in to a horizontal formatted video. Don't know. Um, but yes, that's when we get back, uh, and then I'm going to set up a journal for December, maybe. Okay, so um, I forgot that I still needed to make this. This is just like a iced tea, cold brew tea. Um, it says it only has to sit for eight minutes, but basically I'm going to make it and put it in my fridge for basically until I remember to come back for it. <laughs> okay, now we test out a new ink, ink vent. Let's do this. Okay, so I made a little bit of a mess. <laughs> uh, I really love how this ink writes. It is a beautiful teal so not just a plain old blue ink but not a pure green either you can kind of see the dimension here i feel like on camera from my visual uh it's showing significantly more blue on camera uh than it in than it is in real life but that is okay uh, so this is called bliss it is a standard and I uh, made a mess. <laughs> that is totally okay. I'm going to go ahead and print out what I need for my journal for December and kind of get started on that so you guys can see me write more with the Twisby Eco um, and this ink for the day. I did go ahead and test out the, the pen on this journal. This is just the uh, unlined plain paper journal from Redbubble. Uh, this is one of my own designs. And it does bleed a bit. Uh, you can kind of see the feathering around the edges of the strokes. And we do have some shadowing on the back. Uh, here is where I uh, wrote slower so that it would deposit more ink and then more quickly here and here. So there is some shadowing on the back. I, I think kind of going to just still use this book for my journal. I thought I might use a Canson mixed media pad. Um, this has significantly less bleeding and feathering, but it took a long time to dry. And uh, while there is no shadowing on the back because it's a much thicker paper, I just wasn't enjoying the feel uh, of writing on this paper. And unfortunately, I don't have general fountain pen friendly paper right now because, well, reasons mostly related to moving and not using fountain pens for the last like two years. Anyway, I will deal with the mess on my hands later. I don't actually care about ink stains on my hands. Um, just not that kind of person. Uh, but yes, this is my first go at trying the Twisby Eco. It is beautiful. I didn't fill it up all the way because I wasn't sure how much uh, writing I was going to be doing. I'm probably going to have to fill it more for the 
journaling. Uh, but I will wait to do that. I think that I might try and remove this page from this book. Uh, this is a glued in binding. So I could probably remove this page with some amount of success. The next page has a little bit of bleed from the Copic sketch, but I kind of don't care. I might just remove the one. And then I think that I will use this as my December journal. Yeah, there's no lines, which for journaling, I think I would prefer lines, but this is, I don't want to call it like a throwaway journal, but uh, it's one that I didn't really have a specific plan for. It's not, gr I mean, it is good paper for sketching, but I don't know. I just, it's on my desk. I already have it out. I don't have to like <laughs> dig for a different journal. And yeah, oh, I guess I have... I guess I have these. Um, they're kind of traveler size notebooks. They're a little bit wider. Maybe the, um, oh gosh, I'm not familiar. I think B6 is the size that's basically a traveler size, but wider this way. I don't know. I didn't test the ink in here. And it it's only aligned on the left side of every page and not the right. I don't know why. Um, yes, this is the, um, the right orientation of the book. <laughs> Not really sure why it's set up that way, but yeah, maybe I'll use that because it's aligned, but it's not fully aligned, so I don't know. Let me go ahead and print out the journal cards and see if I can find a list of prompts. I found some really cute, um, like journaling cards that Keeks Wanderer had posted on Instagram. Keeks. Postal Service? I don't remember if her name is Keeks Postal Service on Instagram. I have no idea. Um, I have a bad memory. I'm so sorry. Uh, anyway, it's from Jobs or Job's Journal. Uh, and it's like a freebie if you sign up for the newsletter. And they're really cute. I will show them to you in just a second. And uh, I was able to get the studio file for Silhouette but my silhouette's not even set up my cutting machine. Um, and also I don't know what happened to my container of sticker adhesive paper. I'm a mess. Uh, so I'm gonna quickly see if I can find some sticker paper. Otherwise I'm gonna just print this out on kind of a lightweight cardstock and cut them out and um, use like a tape runner. But if I can find sticker paper, I will print them on sticker paper and still have to hand cut them out because I'm not setting up my silhouette. Don't even know where it's at. <laughs> um, I do have one of those old, um, it's like a sticker machine that you put paper through and you turn the crank and it comes out and the back, like the, the backside is adhesive. Um, I had one of those. I thought I still had it until I was unpacking stuff during, um, after moving. And I realized it was just the like cartridge, like a brand new cartridge in its box. I don't know where the actual machine is. I don't have it anymore. So that's, uh, they're pretty discontinued, I think. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but I'm going to look for sticker paper and then I'm going to print. Okay, this is not the one I was looking for. Um, I have like big containers from online labels of like really good quality uh, adhesive sticker paper. But I have this little bit of the Silhouette brand sticker paper. Uh, it's just their printable white sticker paper. <laughs> I think you can get it at Michael's. This is pretty old, um, but there's a couple sheets left in it and I should be able to, should be able to use it. Uh, I'm not going to use it for anything else. And I didn't love it for use on the silhouette actually. So I stopped using it. So I have a couple sheets and I'm going to go ahead and print out. Uh, let me show you the design. Okay, I do not have a steady hand, so you are literally on my phone holder tripod thing. So this is the design. It's from 
Job's or Job's journal. I don't know how to pronounce it. I am not like a follower of this person. I literally just, sorry, my screen's a little dirty. I literally just saw this recommended by, here it is, by Keeks. And so I <laughs> went to it and signed up for it and got the printable. So um, it's super cute. I'm going to go ahead and print this out. Um, just terms of use. I'll have to read through that, but I think that because I'm not selling anything and I'm going to tag them, it should be fine. I'm going to go ahead and print these out and uh, cut probably the first couple days worth and find a journaling prompt for today. <laughs> I think that I might actually use my guillotine cutter and see, see if I like the effect I can get with cutting it with here, cutting with this. I am not terribly worried about them all being perfect if I accidentally cut anything off. It is not that big of a deal. Also, I feel like I can't get a guillotine cutter to cut straight ever. <laughs> I don't understand it. I I don't I literally never never can get the line straight. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's the cutter. All right, we're going to pretend that that is even. <laughs> and I I don't I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it is. Yeah, that's for sure not even. Okay. <laughs> Um, that's probably good. Oh, well, I've got some of the next days on there. Oop, sorry for bumping you. Let's see. Let's see if we can straighten this up at all. I'm lining this line here up with one of the guidelines. Let's see. I keep bumping the camera because it is in my way. <laughs> to be honest, that is uh it is in my way. <laughs> it's my fault. I put it where it is. I could just do this without recording and it wouldn't be a big deal. But I like to, so it's fine. Okay. All right, we've got the first through the fourth cut out. I will cut out the others later, probably not on camera, but whatever. <laughs> I don't have a trash can over here right now, so I'm literally just making a little pile on the floor of trash. That's super fun. Let me set those aside. And um, yeah, let's grab the journal pen and, and I'm gonna quickly see if I can find a journaling prompt okay so it turns out that my printer will print on a 3 by 5 index card uh, but I'm gonna have to play with the settings next time because it sort of cut off the top and bottom of the image it's okay I still have it but interesting this is literally just from an Instagram post. Okay, I had to put my camera back on the holder because I have not good hands. <laughs> uh, anyway, so yeah, uh, it did cut off the top and bottom a little bit, but this is from Rachel Grieg. I literally don't follow this person, but I found this prompt list and so far... I think that it'll be good. It's kind of Christmas slash holiday themed. I am okay with that. I celebrate Christmas uh, and Hanukkah and both secular holiday celebrations. So 
I don't really mind having some amount of like holiday themed stuff. Um, for journaling, like that doesn't bother me, but yeah. I am gonna see if I can remove this. Might regret it, we'll see. This, I think, that I will glue in. That's probably way more than I needed, but that's okay. That is probably not straight, but that's all right, too. Okay, I don't have any holiday washi tape. Oh, you know what? I could have put that on this somehow. I'll find a way to use that. Okay, so uh, day one says list the traditions you usually have for this time of year. Um, do I want to use the left side of the page? No, because this will show through. So the first prompt is asking you to talk about your traditions uh, for your family for this time of year during the kind of holiday season. I started by writing a little bit about my family's um, year and what has kind of led us to having changes in our tradition, um, our move and things like that. I counted the pages just to see how many sheets I have to use. Uh, there's 31 days in December, and this book has 64 sheets, or 128 pages. So I decided I could use up to four pages or two sheets per day. I talked about traditions that have changed for our family this year because of our move, and um, traditions that we typically do, uh, new traditions such as having a very abundant supply of locally produced hot apple cider in our home pretty much at all times, a, a near constant supply of, of hot cider to drink. Uh, we celebrate Hanukkah and Christmas um, in a non-religious uh, or secular way. Um, and so I, I just talked about that as well and what those sorts of things mean. I found some generic um, floral washi to kind of decorate this prompt page and a sticker that I designed as well. I love this. It's a really beautiful kind of teal color. I don't know if it's going to show up really very well, but um, I love this. I love this pen. The stub nib, chef's kiss, beautiful. Um, I love that a lot. I'm excited to see how it compares to my finer pens because it's been a long time since I've written with them. So I kind of don't fully know um, if that's what I prefer now. I, I have no idea. Um, I'm starting to feel a little bit chilly because I haven't been up and moving around. I had turned the temperature down in the house because I was up and moving around and my body was warm and now I'm not because I've been sitting here for a long time. So I'm going to see if I have any more of my energy left. I'm gonna put a box for my pen away. I'm leaving my pen out though uh, because I will just use this pen throughout the day as whenever possible. I also, my general daily writing pen right now is a zebra um, ballpoint seven millimeter i always feel like the zebra ballpoint seven millimeter is a finer point than like my other um daily use is a pilot g2 and that's a gel and it's a five millimeter and i i just feel like i get a, a nice finer point on that but these are 
my regular writing pens and I'm going to keep this uh, with that and yeah I need to upload the the video to YouTube shorts which will go up before this video I'm not sure I'll do one of these vlogs every day but the shorts will probably be every day because they will be for the advent calendar okay so I remember to go grab my tea out of the fridge this is the tea pigs cold brew uh, lychee and rose I love this this is my first time trying this this was like a I had a sampler box at one point and um, this is my first time trying the cold brews from it I love this it is so good the lychee flavor is strong I am kind of like window shopping on their website I'm not buying anything today but they do have the this flavor in the bundle that comes with the storage jar as well so that is tempting I'm going to add that to my like wish list like stuff I want to buy as soon as I can add it to my budget uh, it's kind of cold in the house right now because I turned the temperature down earlier because I was warm and running around doing things uh, and I'm cold now because of sitting here uh, and kind of I've slowed down and also I've been drinking this now but I did put the space heater in the bathroom on so that I can take a bath and relax and um, yeah so because today is my last day of the week of being able to be by myself through the day tomorrow is Friday that means my husband's working from home and actually my kids have the day off of school so uh, I don't know if I'm vlogging tomorrow so that being said because I am in the Pacific Northwest I'm in the Pacific time zone this video as soon as I get done I'm going to have it edited to upload today I might vlog more this afternoon if I do that will be tomorrow's video and I know that is not really the point of vlogmas but I'm a hundred percent sure that I'm not the only one to pre-film vlogmas sort of things uh, my afternoon is completely different stuff from what's going on this morning and so I think it'll be fine Plus, I'll be wearing different clothes. Nobody cares. Uh, <laughs> if I didn't tell you, I probably could have pretended and no one would have noticed. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm also going to be filming the November Post Crossing wrap-up, the kind of stats, if you will. I will be filming that this afternoon. And um, yeah, so you will have at least another vlog video, maybe for the weekend but if not you will at least have the post crossing stats video over the weekend and then uh yeah I will also be doing the shorts videos every day you can find them here on YouTube for YouTube shorts or if you prefer to watch them on Instagram then like the music will be different because of the way I have to upload it separately um but yes the the little ink vent advent shorts will be on YouTube and Instagram every day so that I can do when people aren't home because I can just kind of zone in for a minute and you guys don't have to hear the background. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go take a bath and say goodbye for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. Thank you for watching the shorts in advance. And um, yeah, happy Vlogmas. We'll see if I can do every day.